Recently, I reviewed the Cute Fish OS, which is indeed beautiful. But then, I came across Deep in Linux, which basically combines power, performance, and design into a single package. But wait a second, only 5.3% of you guys subscribe to my channel, 94.7% of the viewers don't. Please, for the love of God, subscribe to my channel. I have big dreams with my channel. I can only achieve them with the help of you guys. Thank you so much in advance. On booting up, we are greeted by this beautiful desktop. Design has an upper hand in the distro. Also, it has the small greeting message, fluid animations and a quick feature tool. On clicking next, we have these two modes, efficient mode which makes it most familiar to the windows while fashion mode leads nowhere. Go normal mode kind of turns off the compositing effect while effect mode keeps them enabled. Let's you change the icon pack also. The entire beginning experience is dominated by the design factor. Let us start with basic apps. File Explorer kind of looks inspired by Nautilus, a slight translucency added in some elements looks gorgeous. Checking from the official web page uh, from Deepin, we find that the file manager is optimized. It shows now entries of third-party apps on the computer page. So many third-party applications can also manage the files, but the files may be scattered everywhere in the system. To make the file management more focused and convenient, these applications are gathered into the computer page, which can be opened just by double-clicking or right-clicking on them. A quick check in the settings page shows a simplified access to some basic changes. A click changes the layout to a site-tabbed version of the same page. Personalization allows change in theming again. Accent color can be changed with mixed subtle changes to the color in the entire system. Just quite like Cutefish as we have done earlier. If you want to see the review video of Cutefish, then you can click on the i button above there. Turning off Windows effects again disables Windows uh, Composite and provides two animations to choose from for the maximization or minimization. Some pre-installed icon themes are there, cursors and fonts can be changed. A few more customization options are there for the dock in the settings page. A useful feature is in the power option which can be switched between power mode or performance mode. I see that many of the Linux distros do lack this thing. So the thing that we can do in Windows is that switching easily between power and performance mode that saves the laptop battery and reduces the CPU speed while in power mode and in performance mode it increases them so that we can get a better performance. Now. System monitor now looks modern and has an interesting feature which I noticed on the settings. You can set an alarm for high CPU usage. So that CPU percentage can be determined by you that whether you want to set the alarm after reaching 50% or after reaching 100%, sorry, 90%. Notification settings is also there but it is kind of redundant here because uh, it just um, fire ups the notification page under settings. CPU usage can be found to be low unlike Cutefish as we noticed earlier. If we open the browser, according to Deepin, there are updates in functions and performance for more convenience. Now Deepin br browser um, did experience a major version of update and comprehensive optimization for functions and performance to meet the needs in several multiple scenarios. So there is a new addition, there is collection. So if you want to favorite something interesting in the process of online surfing, you may use the new collection feature. So it supports not only web pages but also texts and pictures. So you will not miss anything information by using it. You can also categorize and search the collected contents. For important content, you can stick them to the top and sort them in group by the creation of time for quick search and location in the future. Grouping of tabs is also a feature but I find no option to close a complete group of tabs. So when there are too many tabs open, it is quite hard to find the one that you want, the one you want quickly. So the tab group feature is added in this version. After creating a group, you can sometimes, you can add some tabs to it and then you can search open and recently close tabs. Now, both of them making the finding the tabs faster. 
They also add the option to create QR code for any links easily. So you click on the link in the address bar for the edit and then there in the side pops up a small icon where you can just click to get the QR code and share easily from there. While the QR code cannot be directly shared like in Android we get, that kind of facility in Windows is still, I mean that kind of facility in desktop operating system is still not available but if there it would have been quite more seamless. So an added feature is the grand search which I don't find in many Linux distros and where you can find the open uh, you where you can open the location of the file found easily this is a new addition there for other things you can search literally anything just like uh, the search bar that is there on Windows from where you can definitely search in the entire system so also an added feature is there in the screenshot utility which is even not a feature of Windows that is OCR well it's accessible from search and you might say that it is you might say that but it is not merged with the screenshot utility also scrolling feature is another ray effect rather this is the first time I find it on a PC operating system other apps are also well designed I did not notice much inconsistency like the software app did not start in dark mode and I opened in the settings page of the software app it did not allow me to change the theme from light mode to dark mode so it is by default a light mode based application so if dark mode support is added to software the whole system becomes consistent i opened each and every system apps and they look awesome and go with the theme now two deviations i did notice from the general linux distros is that file systems or drives are mounted by default and there is also no version of this operating system by default live version and the live environment can only be accessed through a small edit at the start which I did by pressing the E button and removing part of the line that was there after which it allowed me to access the live CD of this version. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.